the tornado cleaning gun why I have to have one of these and perhaps why you will come to the conclusion as to why you have to have one of these so I'm gonna go out on location I'm gonna actually use it on a car that I did earlier this week hey, you have asked for it and I'm here to deliver the tornado tornado call it whatever you want I've heard it pronounced different ways it doesn't matter I love it it's a great tool here I've got my two front floor mats pulled out. I've got my vacuum cleaner. I got my interior detailing caddy. Absolute luck. Love it. It's the bucket jockey. So as a rule, I pull out the floor mats. I pre-vacuum. And pre-vacuum, the idea is to remove all the dry debris and dirt prior to getting anything wet. Now I prefer this stiff brush. Uh, you can get it on my website. I'll have a link for it. Now the Tornado uh, has a setting here that allows either the solution from this tank to be injected as it shoots out or you can close it off so it's strictly air. At the end is a rotating uh, jet and it's this is where the air and the solution come out. Essentially what it does is this thing spins at a high RPM rate and breaks up the fibers and releases the dirt. So there's a few strategies in using this piece of equipment. You've got the ability to pre-treat your carpeting, which I like to do. I use my Super Degreaser or Meguiar's All-Purpose Cleaner. These are considered, are what I consider rather heavily soiled, so I'm going to go straight to the Super Degreaser. It's going to be diluted down 4 to 1 in this situation. Since I'm pre-treating the carpeting, and essentially I'm using a fabric cleaner, or a type of cleaner on it. I'm only gonna be using straight water to rinse this and to blow out all the dirt. So right there was just, that's my compressor going on. Right there was just straight water. And even with straight water, it's very effective. But I want it more effective, so I'm going to use, uh, sat not saturate, I'm going to use the super degreaser first, give it a good scrub, and then I'm gonna follow up with this. Now one of my little tricks is my rapid remover. It is a very effective grease cutter, oil cutter. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go around in these spots that I'm pretty confident are usually grease or oil. I'm gonna pre-treat that along with my super degreaser. Now you can already tell that it's breaking up the dirt. So there's our finished product. Now I'm just gonna let it sit here and dry. And based on the weather and the temperature and so on and so forth, I may do the uh, worst of the carpeting first thing so it can be drying as I'm doing the detail for the rest of the car. 